Malaria kills hundreds of thousands of people every year, mostly babies in sub-Saharan Africa. This child in Tanzania is taking part in a trial for the world's first malaria vaccine, RTSS. Britain's GlaxoSmithKline is hoping to get marketing approval for the injection next year, after the trial significantly cut cases in children. Scientists say an effective vaccine is key for eradicating malaria. Dr. Alan Pamba helped carry out the trial for GSK. The vaccine reduces by about half the risk of malaria for children between 5 and 17 months and by about a quarter for children 6 to 12 weeks. It's a huge proportion, uh, population of children we've been following are 15,000 across 11 sites in 7 countries in Africa. If drug regulators give it the green light, the World Health Organization may recommend use of the vaccine in two years' time. But getting it to patients won't be easy, says Mark Hollis, an Africa pharmaceuticals analyst at IHS Global Insight. There's often challenges around kind of vaccine uptake in poor regions of the world. Issues are kind of around patient compliance, especially where you have several doses of a vaccine. There's also um, issues around funding as well. You know, who's providing funding for that? And also to kind of government's uh, perceived benefit as well. GSK has been developing the vaccine for three decades, but it's unlikely to give its bottom line a boost. The drug makers promise that RTSS will be sold at cost, plus a 5% margin, which will be reinvested in malaria research. But it is good news for GSK after a turbulent few months. Earlier this year, it was accused of corruption in China and saw sales there fall by 30%. RTSS may not be the final answer to GSK's problems or malaria, but used alongside other measures to control the disease, like mosquito nets, insecticides and anti-malaria drugs, it may well make a difference to the lives of hundreds of thousands of people.